Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leerbach, and you are just in time for more of the wonderful 101. In the last episode, we started our our uh, operate our first real mission, Operation 001, in the Blossom City outskirts. In this episode, we're going to start the second part of this operation. Roger. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Um, I think I mentioned it before. Uh, Whenever you do, anytime you have any, any loading screens, which is the, the typical for uh, platinum games, you get this little area where you can kind of test out your abilities and kind of kind of get used to the controls again while the game is loading. Which is very useful for uh, for the switch because or the switch. Um, sorry, slip the tongue there. I wish this was on the switch. I keep I think this is gonna be an episodic thing there. Seriously, seriously, Nintendo. If you if you know it's good for you, put this on the Switch. <coughs> I mean, pour it over everything else. You're gonna pour it over Bayonetta one and two. You might as well pour it over the Superior Platinum games. Um. Anyway, uh, but anyway, just like with as many Platinum games, I believe maybe all of them. I don't know. I haven't played Vanquish yet, even though it's on my computer. Um. I just haven't loaded up. It's on, it's on the list of games to play. It's like other games get in the way. I'm currently trying to play through The Witness. Try being the key word there because that is a game that keeps breaking my mind. Seriously, they're just like, they're just like maze puzzles, but I can't figure them out. What the heck? There's like 200 of them? It's like, who, who creates that? <coughs> who does that? And then like also like there's puzzles within the world that like... The, the entire world is done with a puzzle. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. It's just pure, pure epic craziness in terms of like puzzles. It's like, it, it's just... how? How do you do that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, let's see, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some of these people over here. There we go. Over here? Nope. Oh, there's a guy. Oops. What the? Okay. You guys, you guys saw that too, right? Was... No, it wasn't that. There's something over here? Oh. What? Oh, I got a coin. There's something over here? Nope. Okay. Let's just circle around and grab some more citizens. Oh, we missed the one. We missed the cop, <laughs> of course. We got another version of the, uh... Oh, was it the Mighty Dogu? This is the Ray, the Ray Down. Um, basically the same as before. Uh, just kind of keep... Kind of knock it down whenever you, whenever you can. Um... And he was kind of wailing it there for a bit. And we can even pick up its weapon. And after the charge laser. Let's see if I can just do this. Oh, that's taking a light drop for my leader. Oh, we gotta keep going this way. Okay, we gotta, we gotta keep moving. Thankf thankfully, the impending earthquake, uh, the aliens were kind enough to let us just go back. What in the world? That's a giant hand. That was a giant hand. So we're gonna try to see if we can get all 45 members. There we go. Uh, one thing I don't think I mentioned is uh, any citizens that you have whenever you reach the end of an operation part, whenever, whenever you reach a checkpoint, um, 
any citizen, any citizens or aliens that you uh, object, I mean recruit into your army, yes, recruit, um, will go away. Uh, any wonderful ones you recruit, like say Wonder Shocho here. Soko? Socho? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right. Um, they will they will stay. Any of the wonderful ones that you recruit they will stay. Any citizens or uh, aliens will not. Um, well, that hurts. Uh, one other thing I want to m mention here too is uh, what's his name? The robot. I've already forgotten his name. I apologize. Uh, I'm recording this the next night. So forgive me for not like for, if I don't have like the names exactly correct because my brain just doesn't want to. Uh, P Star, there you go. That was the robot. Wonder Magician, I'll disappear you. I gotta start reading those. That those little quotes. Um, oh, that's not good. There we go create our glider and we can jump to glide. B will allow us to ascend, so it's kind of it's a little weird. Fortunately I don't think you can die during this part of the mission. It's kind of the best thing I can say is like just kind of try and find a group. And now we're on top of a giant robot. This is the Gagujin. Danger Quotient two hundred percent. Initiating attack. Initiating attack. Commence Earthling annihilation. This is the coolest robot. <laughs> okay, maybe not the coolest robot. I mean, it doesn't transform into a car uh, or a truck or a monkey, for that matter. I just don't think it does. Did he really just say gnarly? We're gonna scrap this bipedal assault weapon. Team! Unite up! <laughs> okay, so we have our first real boss fight. So as you can probably guess, we gotta attack the uh, the orbs here as they glow. Now I believe uh, the glowing is just the colored glows indicate their strength, like how much health they have left. And block. Oh well, we couldn't block that. Okay. Um, I could have sworn we could block the fifth. Okay, we beat that one, so now we gotta get to the other side, which I believe. Go, go. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that the robot patiently waits for us. I mean, it's very kind of him. Uh, so, one thing I think a lot of people would probably compare this to uh, in terms of Nintendo games is Pikmin obviously because of the whole having a swarm of soldiers at your side um, this is uh, one, uh, one, curious, one interesting note I want to mention is that this was not based on a Pikmin game originally this is going to be a Mario game if memory serves right but Nintendo didn't like the fact of Mario walking on top of his friends which is funny because they'll go to release new Super Mario Brothers Wii uh, much, much sooner than this. Which, if memory serves, uh, has you being able to literally jump on top of your friends and even throw them down pits. Or, you know, at least get in their way a lot. Um, 
Lo I love how the robot like twists its arm as we move. Uh, just to like, you know, it's gonna give us a fighting chance. It's gotta give us a fighting chance, right? Okay, and... Oh, we actually didn't have to block. Okay, we got lucky there. Are we just like... Is, this guy, is that guy like just inept? Uh, what do we do? Nope. Let me, see I, let me see if I can do something with this. Oh, we can't hit the. We can't hit it. So we can't hit the head. I wonder if it's supposed to be. Oh, there we got. Oh, I know. Okay, we were supposed to be walking the whole time. Over to the other side of the fist. Okay, come on. Nope. Okay. Then we're out of energy. We're really low. Uh, if we run out of energy, we revert back to our normal cells and we can't really. Actually, do we revert back? No, no we can't do attacks. We can't do wonderful attacks, I think. Oh, he stopped. He broke his arm just in time. Rogers, you hear when you, when you tell when you tell the team to move to move out when you give the team a command. It's a nice little de that's a nice little detail. It's like it's ooh, that didn't work too well. A taiku. Okay. Get some more of the. Oh! That's actually where we're supposed to go. Okay, I can't go any further. Is there anything else we can. Oh, there is. Uh, as you notice, there, if you uh, make your line long enough, you can sometimes just put people. Like, just walk it into the, into the secret area. Go. I do. I do wish that if they're gonna, if they're gonna have you kind of guess where to put the wonder liner for certain things, they kind of just either P star will float over to it and let you know that's where you need to go, um, or they just let you do it wherever you want. I can definitely understand that that, that last one being a bit of a challenge, though. Um, You know, now that I mentioned Pikmin earlier, I kind of... What is this? What is this? Oh, <laughs> it's not much actually. Um, yeah, this is, I'm assuming, supposed to teach you that you can... Let's see, can we capture this guy? Nope. Okay. Not enough time. Bing. Just, just keep coming and let's destroy the big UFO. Flying toaster. We can't even reach the darn thing. Are you seriously telling me you can't jump that high, Blue? He's a big guy, and he has candy in his in his satchel, and he's German. But yeah, he's also like odd enough, also the most fit because 
He's like flying in the air. <laughs> and there's blue. Oh, now you can reach the darn thing. That's your literal bullet. <coughs> I'm not sure this is done on purpose, but I just now realized the alien ships kind of look like this. Is he French? Oh, the sniper, superior. Yeah, he's French. Okay. I said German. Wow, I feel. I apologies to all. Apologies to all my German-speaking fans. All soon to be none of you because of Act, thir Act thirteen or seventeen or fifteen, whatever, whatever they're calling it this week. Article fifteen. He's got a bag of pop. He's got a bucket of popcorn in his hand. What the heck? John Sebastian Renault. I mean, Wonder Green, isn't it? Not that enthusiasm when we mention the names. You are the leader of this operation? <laughs> you seem uh, unfamiliar. Have we met before? T in Versailles, perhaps? Dude's only been on the team for a month. <laughs> Sacre mer! A novice? You may address me as Monsieur Wonder Queen. Have you no respect for etiquette? La Kiyoshi? I. Uh, I'm sorry. I will have you know I am no simple child. Tell me now, what scores did you receive on your tactical examination? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 100 on the written, 98 on the field. <laughs> that look on his face! <laughs> eh, <laughs> but exams are exams. Real world experience, skills honed in battle. These are what count, my dear Wonder Rouge. Roger. Good to have you on the team. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all saying that. Oh, so now it gets we get the one the wonder gun or unite gun. Uh, this is probably my least favorite ability, just because the game's not really designed for uh, gun combat. Uh, it is. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Not letting me. Man, there right button. Nope, it does not have. Um, it does not have a quick fire. Or maybe it does now. Nope. Okay, still doesn't. Can we? Oh, we got. Uh, come on. Why is it stopping? There, okay. I was like holding the button down the entire time and just kind of stopped. Oh, but you can hold the fire so you can. And you can pick up stuff and fire with gun. So certain things can be. Ouch. Yeah, certain things can be ouch. So you're supposed to fire at the thing, at the thing there. So one useful thing would be if you stood, uh, could be if you kind of stood back with the gun, uh, and then just use like the sword and fists and other abilities. Ow! Oh, oh, that's supposed to happen. Never mind. Okay. So he destroyed that, utterly obliterated it with its own weapons. Um. Like I said, I don't, I don't ever use the gun a whole lot. It's just... One, it's a long-range gun on a game that's... That's clearly not designed for kind of that kind of... Functionality. Ah, I messed up on the timing there. The, though, I will say this, if you fully charge out, or make a large, uh, that's not good, we're out of, oh, that might have been why I couldn't make the bridge earlier, if I didn't have enough, okay, that makes, that makes a lot more sense now, okay.
So you'll notice when you make when you make the big gun, you make kind of a super scope looking thing. Fire! Dang it, fire! Make like a super scope rocket launcher sort of thing. Uh, didn't mean to do that, but we'll go ahead and. We'll screw it, we'll just do it that way. Some alien dogus on our side. Oh, 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 we can get another one, we can get another one. Dude, it's kind of. Oh, there we go, we can get three more. Oh, four more! Sweet! We're building up our ranks in no time. go. Okay. We had this guy from before. Oh. No. Ah, uh, darn it. Good. See, this is, I want to go ahead and mention too, I apologize this game looks very chaotic. I mean, it can definitely get that way at times with all the crazy stuff you do. I mean, this is, this is a fighting game under the guise of, like, kind of a... Actually, I'm not sure what this is under the guise of. Uh, one thing I want to mention, this clock... Uh, we can't do anything with this clock right now, but there is something you can do with it once you get uh, another wonderful one, a certain wonderful one. Uh, we'll get into that later. I don't think we'll show it off go back and shut off here, but I do think it shows up in other levels. Okay, so now we got max units. Okay. I just want to check something on my, uh, on the gamepad real quick. Oh, it does fire out! Okay! Okay, so it does you it does allow you to put to do the uh the X attack with the gun with the gun. <sighs> this wasn't letting me before, okay. Gotta get some wonderful wonder repaired. So yeah. Oh that's right, it does a spin attack. Yeah, that's it. okay, that one's very that's very useful for uh getting rid of large groups of enemies. I don't know why it wasn't meant. Okay. Oh, there's, I tried the fist. I forgot about that. There's someone up here. Over there. I feel like I was trying to make a sword and it wouldn't let me. I just want to make sure there wasn't anything up there that I was missing. I love this fist. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Get to carry a fist. Oh, then if you switch one. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Because you switch over to your wonderful. to your wonder weapon. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, it looks like we might have gotten a... There we go. Oh, one thing I want to mention too real quick. Uh, right there you see the G followed by the number. That's how many times you have left to you Like, how many strikes you have left with the weapon. Um... I didn't know that until, like, a little bit ago, because I, I never used the weapons. Uh, so right here we have the gun uh, chest. Let's get everyone. Um, so what we can do here is just wonder gun, shoot it. I guess it's Unite Gun, not Wonder. Sorry if I keep screwing up the name. 
We got another one for one right up there. Wonder Kabuki. And so right here we have a sword puzzle. We'll need to go into into Unite Sword. And like a key, you just unlock a door. <laughs> uh before we do that, I think is there anything we can do out here? No. There's nothing back here, we can can't go any further. Nope. Okay. And it looks like we're good to go. Okay, let's go. Into the arena. Another mission where we're out here. What the? people. I cannot move the camera any further out. Oh, we got a one for one over here. Okay, there we go. Recruited. Got to switch over. Wonder Science. I'm gonna switch that there we go. Yeah, this, this is basically all you're seeing is the outside of the stadium. I'm just gonna switch back over here. Man, I feel like I have to press the select button pretty hard. I keep hearing. I'm trying to remember how to do I'm trying to remember how to do this. I remember this one stumping me the first two times I did it. Who's making the noise of the citizens? Um. Oh! Pick up the battery. Okay. That's why it took me a long time. <laughs> Both times I couldn't remember the battery was a thing. At least this time it took me a little short, a little less time. And then just fired over that way. And that opens up that, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, no, 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 no. It lets us shoot it. Did we just get hit? It's on this side. So we're supposed to hit the ball whenever the light gets on the on the sphere. So I'm gonna switch that over here. This Let's get a 
deck that green water. So, the sniveling worms dare to defy the guild of evil aliens terrorizing humans with gigawatt bombs, energy beams, ray guns, and killer lasers? This time, the mighty Death jerk. will wipe their shivering smile from the face <laughs> of the world. that so much. Lambo, Officer 6 class. It's one of the coolest swords ever, mind you. How about you come down here and I toss you in a cage where you belong, banana breath? And you are? They call me Wonder Blue. Soon you'll feel the sting of my Valiantium blade. Valiantium. Of you won't feel it for long. You'll I have no time to waste on pathetic underlings. You will produce your leader. Were you calling an underling? Ah, there is the blue eye of mist. <laughs> Every insult and opportunity to further taunt your opponent. Stick a tube in it, foy Gras. Oh, I love that when they do the little interaction, so uh, uh, interaction vignettes. I'm the one you're looking for. I'm the leader. You, you. That's right, me. I'm Wonder Red, and you've got only one choice, Invader. Lay down your arms. Or lay down your life to the wonderful one double up. Ha ha ha! That's rich. You're Wonder Red? Ha ha ha! There must be some mistake. I came looking for combatants, not color coordinated cosplayers. In the interest hey, of time. To be fair, only some of us are cosplayers. By my molecular <laughs> disintegration cannons. It's a, probably is a wonder cosplayer somewhere in there. Dai Taiku. Dai Taiku. T98 Mobile, I can read the rest of that. Mission target anti air cannon at 12 o'clock. Team, unite up! Roger! Oh, Damien's not gonna be the gun yet. I don't know. Good thing I have that auto ability on. Ah! That didn't work out the way I thought it would. Like 90% of the time I'm using guts, it's actually not me using guts. I wish I was that skilled, I could block it, things like that. Ah, crap, bro. I gotta rescue some more for him. Okay, so with Lambo, you basically just have to like wail on him until you break his sword. Oh, I just know the aliens in, in the in the stadium. In the stadium seats. What? We found it! Understood! On my way! Unfortunately, my costume comrades, our play date is at an end! But don't worry, you can still play with my toys! I'm gonna bet, because this thing TH, I'm gonna get, bet they spell guest on one side and jerk on the other. I'm gonna have to check and see if, they, if, there's, if there's, assuming it's still up. Yeah, doesn't this doesn't those ships kind of look like a like a fist in a, in a way? Dude, he's getting away. Blue, stay here. We need to take out the cannon first. Ooh, that thing, that thing looks dangerous. 
Me can't hear you all right though. I think we'll have to stop my kid and go all right to the Virgin Victory. The enemy anti-air cannon has radar lock. Initiating Virgin Victory stealth defense systems. <laughs> Team, unite up! Roger! That did not work out the way I thought it was. Hold on, that seems like an... Can I still first? Oh, oh! Oh, jeez, I hate that. I hate using guns so much. Just, well, another thing about gun is it doesn't feel as fast or as fluid as, like, the other weapon. Oh, oh, I think I gotta use a baseball bat. Nope. <laughs> that hurt. That's sort of? No, we're gonna cheat. Oh, no, we can't cheat. Okay. Yeah, we had to hit it at, right, at the right time. Or I can just be a bad shot. You can tell I never made it on the baseball team, can't you? <laughs> Ouch. There we go. We've got one more strike. There we go. Okay. And he took a lot of damage there, so that kind of didn't do us good, so... Yeah, I guess on one side and jerk on the other. Any anti-air, no any jerk man has been detected. Except for what's on the stadium. What exactly did you do? Whoa, what was that? The angry alien did fly off in that direction. Blossom Monument. Not the goddess. <coughs> this is bad. Excuse me. <coughs> Wonderful 100. <laughs> All aboard on the double. We're headed for the goddess of blossoms. Initiating laser teleportation. Roger. Team! Back to the ship. Roger! <laughs> That's another mission. Look at this. All of Operation 1, right? Yeah. We go. Looking Operation B finished. Uh, could, yeah, could be better. And one thing I want to mention, uh, part of my performance being, uh, uh, one, I am Let's Play, and if anyone knows about the Let's Play curse, it's that it does this exact thing. Um, where it's like, you, like, you, could, tra you could train, you could practice all day long, all night long, you could be the best at anything, but the minute you turn that camera on, you suck worse than any five-year-old ever would. And it's kind of true in a way. Ooh, that's a good one. So what else do we have? We got Unite Rocket. Unite Rocket. Huh. Okay. Unite Tombstone. That's basically a ground pound. I don't think I ever used Tombstone or Rocket. Unite that camp Damn. could be useful. Unless you create a giant unite morph without drawing anything. So you can have, you can get like extra energy for that, but you gotta save for it. You gotta save a lot for it because it's five it's a uh, five hundred thousand. Yeah. 
Maybe Maybe Nightfall. Maybe Nightfall. We we'll probably should save it for one of the custom blocks. Healing guts wouldn't be too hard to get. Hero, oh, hero counter. Hero counter. Oh, right, right, right. We already know that. That's the last stick one. Ukemi. Ukemi. I don't. Th I don't think I ever got Ukemi to work when I was playing the game. I was playing the game for the first, my first few tries. And again, I'm not like, I'm not a huge, like you know, professional professional fighting game fighter. Bullet hell, I, I'm not. I'm not good. Oh, I'm trying to say that I'm not good at games. I mean, I'm barely good. At, I'm barely a functioning human adult. If you can't tell by my awkward dialogue. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here for now. In the next episode, we're going to finish up Operation Z 001 with Operation 001C. <coughs> Until then, I'll see you guys later.